how um, the induction hob works. Um, it's a double flexi induction hob. It's Wi-Fi compatible, so it means you can use your Home Connect app and you can connect it, Bluetooth it to your phone, so you can operate it um, as well to turn it on and off from Wi-Fi and also from your extractor hob. But on this particular hob, we've got lots of different functions. So I'd like to first of all talk to you about the frying sensor. Now the frying sensor allows me to choose the right temperature for the type of food that I'm cooking. So if I'm going to fry an egg, I know that it's number two. But if you follow a new instruction booklet, it will tell you what number it is, the different types of food that you're cooking. It is a higher number when you're deep fat frying. Now I've selected number two, press my little frying sensor, which is a little frying pan symbol on your display, and it's now flashing on the heating zone that I want to cook on. So when that comes to the perfect temperature to put my oil in and then my fried egg, it will bleep at me. So you need to listen quite carefully to hear that signal and then it's ready to put the oil in. It will then cook the egg at the perfect temperature. It will not fluctuate, it will not go higher or lower, which means that you could walk away from that fried egg and it would cook, cook perfectly. And you'll get a perfectly cooked egg without it going extra brown around the outside and really overcooking and becoming quite dry. So as soon as that signal alerts me, I'm going to pop my oil in. While we're waiting for that to signal, I'm going to show you the double flexi side. Now I've got um, an accessory which isn't available, it is available, sorry, from, from Neff, um, on the website. And it's a griddle pan, it goes across the whole flexible area. We also do have a tapping yaki pan, which is a smooth area, but the griddle pan allows you to cook your burgers, your steaks, your kebabs, um, I'm going to do some halloumi and some asparagus and it allows you to get those lovely lines across the food that you're cooking. So it's very important that you add oil to your food uh, rather than adding oil to the griddle pan. So did you hear that signal? So just to just, um, stop in mid-flow now, I heard that signal. So I'm going to add my little bit of oil to my pan and I'm going to put my egg in straight away because it's come to the correct temperature. So I'm then going to forget about it, just leave it to cook on its own without having to worry about it while I go back to my griddle pan. I was just about to say that you need to oil your food, something like asparagus or a piece of steak, you need to gently oil it first rather than oiling the griddle pan, it helps to prevent it from sticking. So my cast iron griddle pan needs to come up to temperature quite high, so I'm going to that needs to go up. I've already preheated, so I'm going to first of all join my um, my griddle um, joining button. So it means that both heating zones are going to be joined together to use my um, whole flexible area. So I'm going to already heat that to quite high temperature, so we didn't have to wait. And with cast iron, you heat it up high and then bring it right down so it maintains that heat because you keep it on a high temperature, it, it stays hot for very a long time. And then I'm going to pop my asparagus on here sizzle quite soon because it is quite hot already and it's almost like using an indoor barbecue you'll find that um, in in the winter you still want the barbecue food like your kebabs and your burgers and your sausages you can do them on your griddle and it's lovely for halloumi because you'll find you can hear that sizzle and the halloumi gets the lovely lines in it as well so let's just turn that down now because it is quite high and that's going to cook really nicely Both of the flexi, turn that up a little bit, and we'll just let that cook and let the asparagus sizzle at the back there as well. In the meantime, while that's cooking, we can see that the egg is cooking nicely. Um, it's starting to cook around the outside, and the middle will gradually cook slowly and evenly. And it's not splattering, and it's not overcooking, um, so it's perfectly safe, and you can really just forget about that. While these two are cooking, and I'd just like to show you the lines when the loom is done, it's not quite there yet, there is another function on this hob that I'd like to talk you through and show you as well once my egg is done, and that's called Power Move. Now Power Move allows you to start on a very high um, setting, like nine, for cooking your onion, 
um, or you know cooking something off very quickly in oil if you're doing a spaghetti bolognese or if you're making a soup it then allows you to move the pan into the middle of the um, induction flexible area to become a five which is a simmer so you can then put it on to simmer for say 20 minutes it then allows you to place it to the back of the hob right on a low on a 1.5 low heat just to keep that to whatever you've cooked warm so it's an automatic power shift from 9 to 5 to low power without you doing anything. So it's fantastic when you're not thinking, you're wanting to do um, a dish or a recipe easily on different power settings without having to think about doing it yourself. It does it all automatically. So I'm going to show you that in just one second, but I just want to see my halloum is done. It's not quite there yet. You need to continue just cooking that for a few more minutes. And egg is cooking really nicely there, it's almost done, and then we're going to go on to power move. So my egg's lovely and cooked, you haven't got that browning around the edge, a perfectly cooked egg on my fry sensor. I'm now going to show you this power move. So my saucepan on here, if I'm making some soup, I want to fry the onions. So I'm going to choose my power move function, which is this one with the lines and the arrows. So my power move is starting on nine automatically. I haven't set anything. I'm frying my onions in some oil, very high for literally a couple of minutes, not very long at all. I've now fried my onions. I now want to simmer it with my stock and my vegetables for 20 minutes if I was making some soup. I then move it halfway down the full flexi induction heating zone. It then automatically moves to five. You can see it's moved to five there. I haven't done anything, it's an automatic motion. I then, it's simmered for 20 minutes already. I then want to just keep it warm because the soup's cooked, want to keep it warm and then move it to the back and then it automatically moves to an L. And an L is telling me that then that is on low and then it will just stay on low power which is less than one to actually keep warm so that's my power move function which is one of my favorites i think that's a really lovely automatic function now this halloumi is cooked beautifully you've got the lovely lines in there which you get on a barbecue in the summer when you're cooking outside my asparagus is browning up nicely I use my noodle pan at home quite a lot for char grilled chicken if I'm doing a chicken Caesar salad. It's a really nice way of doing your chicken, making lovely lines on it, and um, very easy to do inside. It's going to say the cast iron needs to go right down to a low temperature now because it's nice and hot. And then it is dishwasher proof as well, so you can pop that in the dishwasher afterwards once you've cooked on it and just take care with the handles because it is very hot. So that shows three different functions on my induction hob using the flexible areas, using the power move, using the fry sensor and also using the griddle pan.